Brett Slater is one of the hottest emerging painters in the United States right now. I think part of it has to do with his delinquent persona. He, he's kind of a, a punk rocker and his paintings reflect that interest in sort of um, complex contemporary culture, whether it's TV or cartoons or rap songs. The way he uses paint when I look at it often feels like icing on a cake and the way that you use a knife to spread the paint. And if you look at this painting very closely, the red paint is all applied mostly in one direction. And so you have the exterior part of the painting that's all in red, and then you have almost like a screen that's an interior that's very smooth. And that contrast between sort of the very smooth, impeccable surface and, and a very kind of messy, luscious surface that you almost want to lick or touch. They're extremely tactile paintings. And they have a kind of sensory overload quality to them while still being quite restrained. And in their restraint, they refer to monochromes from minimalism and color field abstraction that comes out of the 50s and 60s. But he's bringing it into the contemporary era by siphoning it through popular culture and references to the commercial realm that we all live in and are bombarded with every day.